Hey everyone, so I have made this video a couple of months ago, in fact, it's probably like a year at this point, and it actually got a lot of comments and a lot of views, and what I realized is that it's actually out of date. So the topic of the video that I'm going to make now, it's an updated version of how to automate uh, basically taking payments and sending uh, an email receipt after the payment has been successfully completed with Stripe and Zapier. So if, I, if we go and look at the video real quick here, uh, the title of the video is like, three steps to automate the delivery of purchases with Stripe and Zapier. But the comments are all like, hey, this doesn't work anymore. So now I'm going to show you in real time how the new Zap is going to look and how you can achieve pretty much the same uh, just with the new Zapier, uh, Stripe, Br Zap, whatever it's called, the integration, right? So anyway, I have my credit card because something has changed and I'm going to tell you in about in a second. So I have my credit card here and uh, I have uh, two tabs open. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on uh, my page here, I go under products, I select one of the product, and you can create from here a payment link. So if you don't know how to do that, well, guess what? It's actually pretty simple, and I'll show you how to do it. So you add a price. So I'll add another price here just to show you. I'm going to make it a $1 one time, and I'm going to add price. I'm going to give in my password. Now this product that I created here has two prices. And I can press this button here, create payment link. And I'm gonna say, yep, for $1, I don't wanna collect an address. I don't wanna ask for a phone number, but I could. And then I can add for promo code, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so let's just go, just super simple, create link, okay? All right, so here I am. I've uh, now created a Stripe buy link, right, a payment link. I can copy this. I'm going to open it in this tab, and this is what it looks like. My product is basically a tip, so it's a $1 tip, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pay for it in a moment. What's that, what that, what's that going to do, you might be wondering, like, what happens after you pay? Well, usually you're redirected to a website. Uh, you can actually set this on Stripe by going to the settings of the payment link, right? So you click on this button here and you can edit. And then here under confirmation page, you can say, uh, you know, don't show a confirmation page. Instead, redirect to a website. So I'm going to redirect people to my blog's homepage. And that's it. That way I don't see a confirmation message, I just redirect them to a page. This could be the about page or it could be something else. If you want to leave Stripe basically the option of showing a message, you can also customize the message, right? So you have the option of staying on Stripe's page, which says, thank you for your purchase. An email will be sent to you with a follow-up. And the email that we're actually going to use this method because we're going to send an email to confirm that you paid for something. And in the email, you can put a downloadable item, some thank you message, whatever your heart desires. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click update link. So now I'm all set. So I have this Stripe buy now link, right? I have a personalized confirmation message. And I'm basically telling the customer once they pay the $1, I'm going to send them an email to confirm next steps of some sort. All right, perfect. So now let's go ahead and pay. So I'm here on this page. I'm going to pay with Google. And the reason I, why I have to do this is kind of annoying. On Zapier in the latest update, um, you're not able to use the test environment for Stripe anymore you basically have to use the live environment. So now I'm actually going to spend a dollar of my own money and send it back to myself. So I'm paying here a dollar. And then I'll have to pay Stripe processing fees. And this is, says, like, thank you for your, for your payment. And then 
uh, yeah, basically, I didn't actually, um, I actually, did I click on the right link? I don't know. It should have said, you know, you'll be getting an email for that. So let's try that again. I'm going to pay myself another dollar. No big deal. Let's make sure that this time that I have the, confirm the confirmation page set up. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, update link. Just making sure. Copy. There we go. Pay with Google Pay. Pay again. Uh, Two dollar for myself. All right. Let's see what happens. Thank you for your purchase. An email will be sent to you with a follow up. Perfect. So now that I have this, I know that the payment has been processed. I can go and create a zap, right? So go here to Zapier, create a zap, hit this button. We're going to type Stripe in the search here. We select Stripe. From the events, this is new, right? It's changed. We're going to do every time a, um, a payment has been uh, completed. So a new payment has been completed. Boom. Then I click Continue. Then I choose an account. I think mine is number one. I have two connected. Then I click continue. I'm going to click test trigger. And what's going to happen here is Zapier is going to pull uh, a couple of examples from my payments. So this one came here. That's me, customer. That's me. Perfect. All my details are here. Uh huh. It's got my email because this was linked with my Google Pay, by the way. But if it's not Google Pay, let's go back. I'll show you. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's just copy it again. Basically, whatever email you were you'd be inputting here, it would be stored here. So it can be receipt email, or in my case, what I truly want is uh, payment method billing details email, right? So in either one of these will all it works for me. So there's a lot of data here that I can use, which is great. That's exactly what I need. So then I hit continue. Then I click email. So here you can use email by Zapier. You can use your own Gmail, right? You can connect Gmail or you can connect perhaps like SendGrid or a third party uh, API email provider. And what I mean by that is any service that will allow you to send an email via Zapier. So I'm going to use email by Zapier or Zapier. So this one is going to be, okay, send an outbound email. So pretty straightforward. And here I'm going to say, who am I going to send this email to? Well, guess what? With this new methodology, with this new way of doing things with Stripe, you can actually quickly see all of the fields here. So here's my email, my personal email. And then the subject line could be, could be like, Thank you for paying, and then amount one, and then maybe I'll put a dollar sign, or thank you for your dollar sign one tip. And then in the body of the email, I can say anything I want. I can tell, like type hello, and then use full name, right? Comma. Thank you so much for tipping me. I truly appreciate it. Here's the link to learn more about my services of some sort. And then I'll just put my website, my blog. But here you can add, for example, if somebody purchased an ebook, you could put the link of your ebook. If you're trying to sell some other service, this is where you would compose the email to the customer. You can also have attachments, right? So if you have a file, you could per perhaps send an attachment here. I'm going to send it from Orlando Consulting. And here you can customize it as much as you like. Uh, I'm happy with this. I don't want to go too deep into how to customize, customize your email, but this should be good enough. All right, so I hit continue. Perfect. I test the action. And it's done. Now, if I hit my Gmail, I should actually be receiving this email from, Z from Zapier in a couple of seconds. Um, it's sent outbound email was sent to email by Zapier about seven seconds ago. 
and I can now just press this button, publish this app, and now every time someone sends me a $1 tip using that URL that I showed you here, I'm automatically sending them an email using Zapier and I'm thanking them and I'm giving them a link to my blog. And like I said, you can customize these email as much as you want. Um, there's a lot of information that you can grab from uh, this payment trigger. For example, you can have an, a billing address. So perhaps you wanna create a Zapier automation that sends you also an email to say, hey, this person just send you a tip and this is their address. And then maybe you send them a postcard. I don't know, it's up to you, you can customize it. So anyway, I'm gonna hit publish and turn it on. So it's gonna be running forever. And if any of you sends me a $1 tip, well, in that case, you'll be receiving an email from me thanking you for the tip. So hopefully this, uh, this tutorial, I guess, or this updated tutorial will find itself pretty useful because I know that Zapier has changed a couple of things with the Stripe integration. And I, if you have any questions, you can always email, email me, uh, orly at lf.gg. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching and hopefully this 2022 version of this video is, uh, is more useful to a lot of people that had a lot of questions. Thank you again and hope to see you in another video pretty soon.